Telangana Government to Conduct Teachers Eligibility Test 2024. Central University of Kerala to host conference on Indian languages. Delhi University initiates 24-7 mobile patrolling to curb hooliganism during Holi celebration. Hyderabad CP urges action on rural education gap. Kuwait UG may be postponed over Lok Sabha elections flash what we know. Good afternoon warm welcome you are watching the education news network where you get the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Kiran Raj reporting from the education news network. Today's stories are. The Telangana government made an announcement on Thursday stating that the teacher's eligibility test TET, would be conducted before commencing teacher recruitment following the district selection committee DSC, examination system. Last month, the state government issued a notification for the recruitment of more than 11,000 teachers through the DSC examination system. An official release stated that due to the requirement of clearing TET before appearing for the DSC exam, job aspirants have been advocating for the conduct of TET. In response to these requests, the state government has instructed education department officials to expedite the process of conducting TET. The decision by the government to conduct TET before the DSC exam is expected to benefit up to 3 lakh job aspirants, as mentioned in the release. The Department of Linguistics under the Central University of Kerala CUK, is all set to host the conference on Indian languages on 19th March, the organizers said on Saturday. The event, to be held in collaboration with the Bharatiya Bhasha Samiti under the Government of India and Kerala-based organization, Vidyabhisa Vikasa Kendram, will be inaugurated by North Zone IG, K. Seth Raman, IPS who is also an accomplished writer. Organizers said there will be presentations focused on the utilization of Indian languages as mediums for higher education. CUK said the conference will conclude with a panel discussion on the possibilities and challenges of using Malayalam, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada and Hindi as mediums of higher education. It said various captivating events, including language quizzes, poster-making competitions and an exhibition showcasing Indian languages are arranged as part of the conference. The University of Delhi has initiated security arrangements to curb any possible act of hooliganism during holy celebrations. The university has also warned students of strictest possible disciplinary action against those who disturb the harmony. In coordination with the Law and Order Authorities, Proctorial Board, Dean Students Welfare Office and Security Personnel, the university is determined to maintain strict vigil and enforce discipline so that nothing untoward happens under the garb of festivities, the university said. The holy celebrations usually last for a week and this year the festival will be celebrated from 25th March. Mobile patrolling by the security staff and law enforcement officials around the campus will also be ensured. We have flagged a vehicle of police for 24-7 surveillance of campus named Campus Security Vehicle, Bamika, comma, it added. Rural areas lack quality education. The teachers in government schools are extremely good, but for various reasons are unable to put to practice their best talent, the circumstances in government schools are not conducive for them, their good work doesn't get recognized nor are the ones who are not up to the mark punished, said Hyderabad City Police Commissioner K. Srinivas Reddy while speaking at the launch of Musti Initiative by Yashoda Foundation. This initiative aims to champion the cause of underprivileged children's education in music, arts, sciences, technology, and innovation. Mr. Reddy underscored the critical role of such NGOs in bridging this gap and empowering rural children, who represent the future. Santosh Kaveti, founder of Yashoda Foundation, articulated the organization's commitment to holistic education encompassing music, arts, science, technology, and innovation. Amidst the looming Lok Sabha elections in 2024, the proposed schedule of the Common University Entrance Test for Undergraduate, QAT-UG, 2024 is facing potential revision. Here's what we know so far. The Election Commission of India ECI, has announced Lok Sabha polls from 19th April to 1st June, with results expected on 4th June. This timeline clashes with QAT-UG 2024, tentatively scheduled between May 15th and 31st. Zagdesh Kumar, chairman of the University Grants Commission UGC, hinted at possible changes in QAT-UG exam dates, contingent upon the Lok Sabha elections schedule. 
according to Kumar, the National Testing Agency (NTA) will finalize QET UG dates once the election schedule is confirmed. While the UGC chairman stressed that the announced dates by the NTA are tentative, the overlap with Lok Sabha election. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to our website www.educationnewsnetwork. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.